Hey, this is blessed. And some of y'all is blessed. And some of y'all is messy. I'm just finishing up watching the collab between Neek at Night and Act 47. And I will say this. And I know it's AK. But I will say this. Some of the information, it was great to hear Neek at Night break it down because listening to the trajectory, the information about where the bullets went and all of that, it was unwatchable during the trial for me. It was like one of those kind of things that would put you to sleep. But she did a great job of breaking it down. Neek at Night did a great job of breaking it down. But where I think they got it wrong, where I think both of them got it wrong is in regards to Y&W Melly's mom and also in regards to track. Now, I will say this about Y&W Melly's mom. They said she was interfering. She was like wanting to be their friend and things like that. I think it came to a point. Jamie is only 14 years older than Melly. That's Melly's mom. But it came to a point where Jamie had complete sense about what was going on. I'm not talking about some of those times where she might have hung out with them. But as far as what was going on, Jamie understood what was happening with her son. And like she said, that's my son. Not saying Jamie was perfect. Then in regards to track, y'all, AK said, uh, track got in their ear and said, hey, I'm the CEO. Don't let them be the CEO. They can't be the CEO. Being the CEO means more than I founded this and we're going to put a title behind our name and we want all of our artists to get paid. If y'all all ain't got the talent, y'all all ain't going to get paid. I'm going back to you I watch with Drea O. I've watched several, a lot, all of Drea O. Interview, Drea O's interviews. And she talked about how with artists, the manager is the one managing the money. So if you need a haircut, some french fries, maybe not that small of amount of things. But you do have to go through the manager because the artist would just blow away through their money. And even though track, I know there's like some, some things floating around. Is he an officer? Is he not an officer? But I'll say this. Track demonstrates emotional intelligence in his interviews. He ain't quick to fly off at the mouth. His answers are measured. They can't just be CEOs because they want to be CEOs. I'm the CEO. Track has the, no pun intended, track record. He started out with Kodak. He went in there with him. And he had the emotional intelligence to go in and get the deal to manage the money. As far as uh Nelly calling his mom names in interviews and saying she crazy. Who y'all ain't never said y'all mom was crazy. Okay, come on now. Or your dad was crazy. And Melly he raps about promethazine. And you know, if you ever seen Melly do an interview when Melly is wasted, white boy wasted, he wasted, he be twisting his words, he be saying all kinds of stuff that makes absolutely no sense. So when you're saying F my mom. I don't care what y'all do. You, you did you, did y'all miss that he said I'm at a hotel. He, they're like we're locked out. What's going on? He said I need to get away from that stuff. With all that wild stuff that they had going on, Melly was the artist. I heard an artist, and I believe it was it was one of the female rappers, and I can't think of who it was, but she said it was a big mistake taking her friends on the road with her she said because they could be up getting drunk screwing hanging out with people but she had to work the next morning she had to get up she had to go to work she had to practice do her practice and she couldn't have the fun so that's a lot of times what's going on you the artist you carrying the load where everybody else can play, get high off, drink Hennessy, smoke weed. You have to be in there memorizing your lines, being camera ready. You have to get up the next morning to do the interviews early in the morning. Everybody else can sleep off their high, sleep off their drunk. And so Melly, and so sometimes you can't take your friends with you. Uh, what's his name? Nelly. Nelly, the rapper Nelly. When he was, uh, what's up, the St. Lunatics. He's the one that got signed. The record label didn't want the other ones you can't have not saying because i think murphy lee is talented you can't have it's one person that's going to shine and be the star everybody else and of course people keep saying your friends your friends why you do your friends like this if your friends that have respect for your mother respect for your girlfriend and not saying that melly did it because the jury is still out and everybody quick to believe this evidence i don't believe the evidence of nobody in law enforcement nobody a law official because as a history of the 
because the black and brown community and even the poor white community has been abused by law enforcement and people on the, the, the judges, the prosecutor. So y'all expect us to just sit there and just believe the evidence is not something that's going to happen. So Nick at night and uh, King, not King, I don't call nobody King, but AK-47, y'all y'all don't expect us to look at the evidence and to look at it beyond what's just being shown to us after the history of we have with law enforcement? Are you kidding me? We still going to give it everything we got. Furthermore, both of y'all said this, they have not done enough to prove that this man is in a gang. And therefore, but they are putting the death penalty on the table. They know Melly, even Melly was in a gang. He didn't do this because of no gang killing. Come on now. But they would give a black and a brown man the death penalty in a heartbeat. And because of that reason, if I was on the jury, I would vote not guilty, not for the death penalty. I can't even believe black families would say, yes, we want y'all to go after the death penalty. That don't even make no sense. Even if I heard all the evidence and I found Melvin guilty, I wouldn't even give Melly life in prison. I would give Melly about 25 years if he is found guilty of committing those acts. And the reason why he did it, if he did it, he did it at 19, he was a teenager, sack and juvie, what no choir boys, so, Juvie, tissue after tissue, Juvie Dad, Spoon 510, said he was a stepper in the group. He said, he said, Sack and Juvie was the steppers. He said he believed, he can't believe Melly and Bortland got out on them because they the one that was slide on you, not no Juvie and Melly. So, it was just a case of who got got first. Okay, your dash between your birth and your death means something. I'm not giving you no uh, life in prison. I ain't definitely ain't giving you the death penalty. Over these two people who basically was living their life on the edge. What do that do they even make sense? So for them, I can tell that Nick and Knight and also um uh, AK, they haven't really followed this case as closely as some others have followed this case. There's nothing wrong with that because, um, you know, they busy. Nick at night, she be covering those cases. I, I, I like her channel, AK, minus the cussing, the homophobic slurs, the grabbing his pee, as she call it, peen or whatever. All that. He can be sensible. Well, not really sensible, but he can deliver some thought-provoking inf information. But you can't sit up there. And I and I heard AK. He said, no, I ain't, we ain't up here to convict this man or get him whatever. Please don't. Because a lot of people, they'll go ahead and convict you. But they'll be the same one. Go before John, a John Murphy Lee. And they'll be the same one who gets over-prosecuted and over-sentenced. You got to listen to the facts. Juvie and Sack, rest in peace. They meant something to their family. They ain't worth a death penalty. They ain't, they like to mean a death penalty. You don't get a death If If Ryan W. Melly wasn't a celebrity, they would be two dead N words. That's what they would be. And y'all know that. They wouldn't even be prosecuting them. Detective Moretti and none of them wasn't even going to investigate Christine. You wasn't going to do nothing until you found out he was a celebrity. So now you want us to give a black man a death penalty. Are you kidding me? Some of y'all is blessed and some of y'all is messy. Stay blessed. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Like this channel. And as Nick and Nice said, she said, share this. Even if you got to share with your mama. Because I want to see black YouTubers get 800,000 views. Be on panels. Speak on panels. Make that money. White people are speaking about this community. And I ain't mad at none of the white people. I watch the white people. And I like the white people. But they, if they making money off the black community, why shouldn't... AK and Nick be get 800,000 views. Come on now. Somebody tell me why not. Y'all stay blessed. Give a like. Give a thumbs up.